Good morning, Timothy Keith with Leaf and Vine. Uh, everybody happy wine company and we're up at Paradise Ridge Winery which is our host winery for the day and we are bottling our 2011 Turn of the Road Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, and so as you can see bottling line behind me, all that activity over there, blah 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 blah. Everybody's shown that stuff before so I'm not going to really do it too much. Maybe get a few shots of just bottles going down the line but whatever. Uh, what I did want to do is talk to you a little bit about the wine and tell you what the 2011 Sauvignon Blanc is going to be all about. Alright, so I decided to back away from the line a little bit to do this. And so, right here in front of me is our 2011 Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, don't know if you can tell too much about color. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Uh, real kind of light, uh, straw colored. Uh, we didn't get uh, too much oxygen contact with this wine compared to our. 2010 because it really didn't need it. A lot of the tropical flavors were really prevalent from the start. So Turn in the Road Vineyard is located in Lake County in the Big Valley region up there and so Big Valley is kind of like the, the heartland of uh, Sauvignon Blanc producing areas uh, within California. Some just beautiful Sauvignon Blancs produced from up there. Uh, 1400 foot elevation, so it's uh, and it's uh, well drained soil, so it's very small Sauvignon Blanc clusters, very tight, compact, and very small fruit. All right, so now to kind of some facts about the wine itself. So this is the first year that I've ever done a Sauvignon Blanc unfiltered, unfine. Now typically, I'll just give you a little background on the winemaking side of things. I like to keep the 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 fruit. Um, and the wine after it done, it's done fermenting on their primary lees. And so it always stays in contact with those yeast lees that have settled, they're now dead. And then we uh, stir it on those lees. It's a, a style that uh, people often equate with a uh, Burgundian French style. It's called Sir Lees Aging. We do it for our Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, last year what we did is we dropped it down to stainless steel drums. This year we kept it in one tank for the duration. And what I was able to really achieve with that was actually uh, kind of uh, keeping a lot more of the fruit purity and then building up mouthfeel. So this is a big Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, now this is also the first year that we've done 100% unfiltered, unfined. So literally it stayed on those leaves for the duration of the aging process and was only racked you know, two, three days ago as we're about to go to the bottling line. So it's about the, the cleanest, purest expression uh, I've really ever done with a, a Sauvignon Blanc and I'm very excited about it. Still got great clarity out of the glass uh, and you know it looks like a, a, a finished one. There's no, uh, no cloudiness, it is cold stable, uh, meaning that uh, you can put it in your freezer and no tartrates are gonna form. And uh, it is heat stable, but that means uh, uh, if you did have a problem with that, that means you overheated it and we don't want that anyway. So I'm really happy with the Sauvignon Blanc. We'll be releasing it in a few weeks, but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek, at least video-wise, of the 2011 Turn in the Road Sauvignon Blanc.